everybody I am back with another Art as Nails uh, package and just to prove this one hasn't been here that long <laughs> the other one was waiting around for about five weeks this one hasn't been here that long uh, we're gonna open it up together I just all I've done is pick out the uh, invoice uh, so this is what your package looks like when it arrives we've got um, our information here it's art as nails cruelty free vegan all that kind of thing made in london my favorite city in the world and uh, the address it will be linked down below they are now stocked in the us as well stop hitting catherine please um they also have another company here soap dodger um which is handmade soaps and things like that so that looks great bath and beauty products very nice um you should head over and uh if you want head over and follow them on instagram because they've they've great they work with great swatchers over there as well including claire gray for the videos uh oh they have given me some here we go there's some polishes oh look at this they have gifted me some soap dodger stuff oh thank you very much oh, let's see Oh wow, this smells really, really good. And you know what? I could do with it now, having just uh, messed up my nails and having to cut them down. They need, oh, that's lovely. That isn't greasy. That is really, really nice. Really, really like that cuticle balm. <gasps> I'm looking forward to using that. Okay, that is really pretty really nice packaging that's very generous thank you very much and a very generous amount in this this is made with um doesn't say what's in it but it smells really nice very good and then we have the soap dodger and this is for your feet what's this citrus burst hmm that smell oh look at this Oh, there's something really satisfying. I really want to dip my finger in, but I'm not going to. This is a good excuse now to give my feet a little uh, bit of TLC later on. Uh, thank you very, very much, Arda's Nails and Soap Dodger. Thank you. Okay, let's have a look at the polishes, the final polishes that I've ordered. Not for the last time, let's face it. I'm going to be ordering from this company again. Their service is amazing and they ship to Switzerland. So that's pretty much, that's like my big thing. So uh, there are brand new polishes in here from their 2018 releases. They've released a lot this year. Um, they have the Ethereal collection. They had the Here Comes the Boys collection. They had a thermal collection, and this is from the Ethereal collection. Oh my goodness. They were actually sold out of the entire collection, so I decided just to, like, you could buy the whole collection and save a little bit of money, but I decided just to get two. Um, and now I'm kind of raging I didn't get all three. But anyway, this is Sacred. This is the one that Claire was speaking, giving high praise about. This is beautiful. And um, that is, yeah, it's kind of this gray base with a purple shimmer and a holographic in there. Really, really pretty. Then we had the Celestial. So I can't remember the name of the one I'm missing, but it has a red shimmer. I might get it. I still might get it. This one has beautiful blue shimmer. So it's a similar base, but this is the purple and this is the blue. Very, very pretty. So that's Celestial. Then I ordered another one from the Like It or Loathed collection, I think. I think that's what it's called. And this is a beautiful orange holographic. It's a golden orange color. Uh, it's settled a little bit, so I'll give it a bit of a shake up. But this is a Royale with cheese, which is another famous line from Pulp Fiction. Really, really beautiful. I don't have an orange um, holographic, so I was really looking for one. I was kind of disappointed I hadn't ordered the one that everybody was talking about from Colours to Carol. And I showed a bit of restraint. I asked Claire, what one of the Here Comes the Boys collection did I need? And she insisted that Mantis is the one I needed. And it looks amazing. It's this beautiful green holographic flaky uh, written base. Um, 
beautiful absolutely gorgeous so let's get our swatch wheel out again if you want to see any of the polishes that I did um, I will link them down below the other videos so let's start with let's start with the Royal with cheese and I'll give it a little bit of a shake up uh, I think I'm gonna have to get Ivan in on the shaking of that it's a really unusual color orange very nice indeed and I just thought this is kind of it's kind of almost a pumpkin-y color so just put it down here Ooh, again just so opaque I mean you'd probably get away with one coat of this that is so nice so I don't know why I'm shaking I'm shaking for some reason I'm so excited but it's really really pretty really like that um, it's almost like yeah it's kind of like a pumpkin color but maybe or a squash color very very pretty um, so that is a royale with cheese then we have mantis so pretty and this I think I remember Claire saying this is a one closer as well that whole collection it was so hard but I just I have to be I have to be restrained you know you can't buy everything. Oh, there's like gold flakies in here. There are gold crushed glitters. Um, this is now, I know I was saying Milky Way last time was going to be great for um, St. Patrick's Day, but this really will. I think I would need definitely two coats of that. Maybe I just need to shake it up. I thought it was a one coat, or maybe I'm mixing it up with something else, but um, really, really pretty. That would look great stamped with some gold for... Patrick's Day there it is you can't see the hollow but in a way that's a good thing because now you can see all of the gold in there so that um, there are those two then we have the two from the ethereal collection let's start with sacred and see what that's like Now, I know that these are going to take a couple of coats, but I will come back, obviously. Although, they don't look too bad. Maybe they're... Oh, gosh, that is so beautiful. Oh, Claire, I can see why you loved it. That is so pretty. Wow. Even without being able to see the holographic in that ring light, that is really, really pretty. Love that. Okay. Yes. And then we have this one, which I already think... I am going to use for a little collab money that we have coming up. You can go over to Instagram and check it out. And let's put this here. This is, oh man, these are beautiful. Art as nails. My, oh my. Where have you been in my life? This is beautiful. Look at that blue. I love sacred, but I, I'm loving the blue as well. All right, guys and girls. So I'm going to do a second and third coat where needed, and I will be right back. All right, guys and girls. So I am back with um, a second coat on all of them. Actually, I have two more. I have three on these two. Um, this is the Royal uh, Royal with cheese. Very unusual color. The the um, holographic is there. Very hard for my poor old light and camera to pick up at the moment, um, but really pleased with that. Nothing like that. Uh, again, I have to say, like most of the Arda's nails, I don't have anything like them. So I'm really, really pleased. This one is Mantis from the new Here Come the Boys collection. I think that's called Here Come the Boys collection. And look at the gold in this. This is so beautiful. It's like perfect for St. Patrick's Day. This is the perfect spring green I think this is beautiful and with the holographic so away from this ring light it's gonna look even better so watch out for that on my channel and these two I think Claire described them as otherworldly and um, like when you look at them uh, within like the whole spectrum of all of this week's polishes they really do cast this otherworldly type um, 
uh, impression. This uh, is sacred. It's got that beautiful purple shimmer in there with the holographic. There's also holographic in these two as well. And that's it in three coats. You may need two, depends on your nail length. And I think my favourite of all four from today is uh, Celestial. It's so beautiful. Um, and I'm surprised. I, did. I, I love Sacred too, but I just the blue in this is so beautiful. Again, another three coats. And there it is. So that was my Art as Nails um, haul from this week. If you want to see any of these again, you can go back and I'll link them all down below. Very impressed with the brand. Um, thank you so much for the Soap Dodger uh, products as well. That was amazing. Um, I did buy all the polishes myself and they did ship them to Switzerland. Really good prices for an indie brand. They are now available in America. I will link the Art as well as um, Art as Nails um, website down below so you can go and check out all of their information there. And uh, yeah. Thanks, Claire, for recommending these to me. Thanks, and also damn you, because now I have another brand to obsess over. Ah, oh, well, I will see you all again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.